The Learning Pyramid. Research shows that varying your study methods and materials will improve your attention and recall of information. The Learning Pyramid, or Cone of Learning, originally postulated as a visual metaphor by Edgar Dale as the cone of experience, suggests lectures and obtaining information from textbooks are the least effective methods of learning, and the most effective ways to learn are through doing or teaching others. Important note, Dale's original cone of experience did not include percentages for each level. These appeared sometime in the 1970s, and as far as we're aware, have not been researched and have no basis in scientific fact. Edgar Dale's Cone, updated for the modern world. Level 1, Lecture. Least effective, mainly auditory, passive learning. A lecture is a passive form of learning. Visual and kinesthetic learners can find it difficult to absorb information in this format. Suggestion. To increase retention and recall, take notes or produce a mind map for future review. Level 2. Reading. Mainly visual and internalised auditory passive learning. Whilst more effective than a lecture, reading is still one of the least effective methods of acquiring and retaining information. Suggestion. To increase effectiveness, preview the book before reading. By reviewing chapter and subheadings, Glance over all pictures, charts or graphs, read any bold or italicised words and text and make sure you understand them. Also read the chapter summaries and review any end of chapter questions. Level 3. Audiovisual. Visual and auditory passive learning. Audiovisual is by far the most effective of the passive learning methods. Audio, images and photographs are now joined by video as the computer, tablet and smartphone technology continue to evolve. Level 4. Demonstration Visual and auditory, passive learning Demonstration usually involves a live learning task that students can observe. Using active learning leads to greater understanding and fewer misconceptions. Level 5. Discussion Visual, auditory and kinesthetic, active learning Discussion or group discussion is a form of cooperative learning. It is an active study method intended to stimulate thinking and increase participation and engagement, leading to greater retention of information and materials studied. Level 6. Practice by doing. Visual, auditory and kinesthetic active learning. Practice by doing is one of the most effective methods of learning and study. Students take what they learn and put it into practice, promoting deeper understanding and moving information from short-term to long-term memory. Level 7. Teaching others. The most effective visual, auditory and kinesthetic active learning. The key to mastering a subject is to teach it to others. If you are able to accurately teach a subject to others, you will have a very good understanding of the concepts with superior retention and recall. One of the best ways to instruct others is in a study group using peer-to-peer -peer teaching. For more information on study techniques, download the summary of our book, Learning Expert, from the link below this video. To find out more about our training courses, go to novaleed.co.uk forward slash events or call us on 08456 170 697. Novaleed. Success through people development.